Is uh, Spinelli here? No, he's not. Come on in. Good. Um, I needed to make sure that you understand how vitally important it is that Spinelli never finds out I participated in a questionable photo yeah, well, shoot with I, Franco. I, I need to talk to you about Franco because I want to go over everything that happened with you and him from the moment you left that gallery. And don't leave anything out. Where did you and Franco leave the gallery through? <clears throat> the back. The back. How, how far was the walk to the car? Not far. What kind of car was it? A limo, but not his own. It was a service. Which one? How am I supposed to know that? But did you get a license plate number? You know what? I forgot to write okay, that down. Maxie, you, when you pulled out, which direction did you go in? Not really good with directions. Well, it's really not that hard. At the end of the alley, did you make a right turn or did you make a left turn? Uh, right. I think, but I couldn't swear to it. Okay, how far did you go before uh, Franco blindfolded you? You know what? I didn't check the odometer, and before I answer another one of your tedious questions, I want you to swear to me that you're not going to, under any circumstances, let Spinelli know that I let Franco take compromising photos of me. Well, there's more at stake here than your romance with Spinelli. Not for me. Good, good! You're here. I can tell both of you together. You know, I can't stand spending one more night in what amounts to a man cave. We need to redecorate. Spinelli, I know it makes you uncomfortable. No, make that nervous to be on the opposite side of any issue from Jason, but we have a crisis here, or at least I do. I mean, how do you guys look like this? You don't even have a dining room table, and if something can't be done to correct this nightmare, well, I might not be able to spend very much time here. No, 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 that would, th that would be most undesirable. I mean, surely Stone Cold would not object to it. I, I object to this changes. waste of time. I need you to help me find Franco, and that takes priority over anything... Glad you're here. I need some backup. I was just trying to tell these two back cave dwellers that they really need to redecorate, and I know you agree with me. Um, I kind of like it here. Okay, Maxie, you, you need you need to leave now. We okay, but uh, I'm gonna take Spinelli with no, me. No, he has to work. Who died to make Maxie, God? shut up and help me with Franco, or just get out. Wasting time that I don't have. So you need to leave. Smelly will call you when he's free. Okay, if I may interject, there's no reason for Stone Cold to treat Maximista in such a hostile manner. No, it's fine. I'm gonna go. That was completely uncalled for. Maximista does not deserve to be yelled at and berated. She does not see the world as you do. To Maximista, home decor is life-defining. In her way, she was, she was trying to do something good for all of us. Spinelli, listen, Jason didn't mean to insult Maxie. He, he's just worried, uh, rightfully so, about Franco. Fine, but that's no excuse to treat her the way he did. All right, I, I'll utilize all the cyber skills at my disposal to track the off-putting artist, but first, I need to make sure Max Meast is all right. Jason. It is not like you to go off on Maxie like that or anyone else. No, I get that, but Maxie's just scrambling to cover her ass with Spinelli. But I need to find this freak. Uh, what, you still think he's that much of a threat? I mean, if Franco's been following me for months, if he's, if, he, if he's the one who took the picture of Claudia dead and he could know that Michael killed Claudia, from where I'm standing, yeah, that makes him a threat. Spinelli's passport trace, we, we know that Franco returned to the States in late September, which means he could have been in Port Charles when Claudia died. That means he could have taken that picture of Claudia's dead body and sent it to me. Yeah, that's interesting, but without any proof, Jason, it's just a theory. Okay, let's, then let's keep going. We know that Maxie left the art show with Franco. And soon after that, I get yet another picture in, in the mail in an envelope from the gallery, and the picture is Maxie blindfolded lying in a chalk outline. Right, a picture that Maxie admits to Franco yeah, taking. Why send it to me? Did she happen to say anything new? No, Spinelli came in before. She's not going to be much help to me, I'm going to tell you right now. All right. Well, you know what? I think maybe it's all in the way you approach her. I'm gonna try. Maybe I'll have better luck. Maxie, hey. 
Look, I wanted to apologize for the way Jason blew up at you. Spinelli already did a lovely job. Look, I am perfectly aware that you only started ranting about redecorating as a cover because you didn't want Spinelli to know that you were at the penthouse answering questions about how that photograph came to be. I answered Jason's endless questions as best as I possibly could. And from friend to friend, could you just not judge me? Are you kidding me? No. I've never. No judgment whatsoever. I am in no position to throw stones given my own transgressions. I just, I thought maybe you could fill me in on what happened tonight so we can sort of get some information on how to find this guy. Well, we're on the same page then because I want to talk to Franco too. He took more than one picture of me and I really need to get them back. I don't want Spinelli to find out this ever happened. I'm sorry about earlier. I'm just a, a little tense right now. I shouldn't have gone off on Maxie like that, and I, I know it wasn't fair to you or her. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Maximista was remarkably unaffected anyway. I, I think she understands, like I do, that your temper is just a sign of strain. I mean, I still know next to nothing about Franco. I mean, I know that he probably witnessed the shootout. He also may have witnessed Claudia's death. Uh, respectfully, I think that might be a bit of a strange. I, I, I hope, I hope that you're right. Because if there's, if there's a chance that he knows that Michael killed Claudia, I'm gonna have to do something about it. There's nothing hidden, nothing tucked into the canvas stretchers, no address label. So if there is a message to be conveyed, it's got to be in the work. I've been, I've been looking at this thing for hours. It looks like a big mess to me. It is a bit chaotic. Well, I mean, although, I mean, those two columns, they could clearly be a, a Roman numeral, so maybe if there's other numbers to be found, it could end up being some sort of code. I, or it could be meaningless. No, Franco wanted me to have this painting for a reason. He's sending me a message. 